Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 13th. Um, we're looking at the Dow <clears throat> up 36. You'd be surprised to say that it's up 36, but uh, the components of the Dow are slightly different to the weakness of the S&P and the QQQ. So we've got the Dow up 33 at 32,664. Uh, it gets repelled every single day for the last four days at their 200 period exponential moving average right there that I'm pointing to in the daily chart. And we've got the S&P right now. Let me just get to this S&P. The S&P is down underneath the uh, 9 and 14 period moving averages. Oh, that's kind of important. I'll be talking about the weekly chart in a moment when I get back for the Tom O'Brien show. The, the S&P is down 22 at 43.27. QQQ index 100 taking a deeper hit down four and a half at 365.37 down a dollar 24. Got repelled at the inside track repellent zone. IWM has been very weak. This is the Russell 2000 uh, down a dollar and a half at 170. Now this is the story of the day or one of the stories of the day. Gold is only up 58 dollars. I mean, this is in one day. It's gone from um, just hanging in there nicely at the 1886, 1866 level, 1886. And whoosh, in one day, it goes up to 1944, straightening right now at 1941. We'll have to talk about that when I return for the Tom O'Brien show. You've got the dollar. People have asked, why is the dollar up and gold is up? Well, they're two separate things. There is, a, there is a component where you see the reverse, the mirror image of the two. Uh -uh. The dollar is the currency of the United States. It is the premier currency in the world. That's why money is flowing there. Gold is a an arbiter of fear. It is the, the, the uh, icon that says when everyone gets very nervous, gold is where you go. And we're looking at that really up sharply. And if you look at bonds, bonds had an absolutely... A horrible session yesterday. Today's trying to get some of that back almost up at one and a half points. We'll talk about that when we get back because what's going to happen if the yields do not, in fact, um, start to come down, but they stay at this level. Very important. And crude oil, a mix of things. Look at this. Crude oil is up almost $5. It's 87.65. It's a miracle that the Dow, the Dow is up 50 and the S&P is not down uh, much, much more. We'll be back in a few moments for the Tom O'Brien Show. Basil Chapman here. Hope you can say check out Rogue for my daily newsletter. We'll be back. It's going to be an exciting last hour. <laughs> 